said this was a war zone. Where's the primo gear? We're scavengers, man. We gotta scavenge. Ah. You see that? Looks like some high-grade military shit. Today might be our lucky day. Get out of there, you fools. We got two civilians in the hot zone. We're survivors of the war. Banded together in huge convoys, we search the frozen tundra for food and supplies. My convoy is called Yukon. I started training with a simulator to get the hang of the combat suit, the greatest military toy since gunpowder. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 4,213 miles north of the anomaly. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, this is Colonel Ellen Bolt, Commander of Convoy Yukon. I'll be the one who's training you. I need you to be in full command of the Special Mission Unit. Let's get started, Lynx. This is your tactical map. On it, and only on it, you can choose your squad's path. You start here, near the three training towers. You can change your squad's route on each crossroad. To do that, just click on an arrow until it turns the way you need. Now, plan a route that leads you to the safe zone. There are two ways to plan a route for your squad in tactical view. Left-click arrows on crossroads to change the path. Good. The simulation starts now. These are the Assault Hounds, the pride of the convoy. Assault Hounds start with a slow fire. But if they keep firing, they're... To inflict more damage, The round indicator over the Assault Hound. This is the Tekken. The Assault Hound has considerable firepower and good range. Its rate of fire increases when firing and reaches maximum power after 12 seconds. Its cannons cool down quickly though, so you should constantly keep enemies in it. Keep alert, the situation changed. Now the towers are hiding between buildings on both sides of the road. I strongly suggest you morph your squad into Hellhounds. This is the Hellhound, designed for urban warfare. It's a... There you have it. Hellhounds are effective in close quarters combat.
Designed for urban warfare, the Hellhound is heavily armored and equipped with two independent flamethrowers. Ignore the tremors. We're catching some heat out here in the real world, but we got it covered. Focus on your training. You're coming up to a fork in the road. Which route the squad takes is all up to you. You can change your squad's path now. Remember, you can morph your units into... Although you may want to destroy all the towers. job. This part of your training is finished. We received a distress signal coming from New York. The signal was sent by Dr. Xander, the scientist in possession of Project Shockwave. Yukon's on a direct route to the Big Apple, and I'm still in the simulator. There's no saying how much time is left for training. First Lieutenant Simon Lynx, 3,827 miles north of the anomaly. This is Karasara. It's a rare element that we use to buy and upgrade combat units. Karasara. Bear in mind, you can always gain Karasara by selling units. Now advance. One more thing, Lieutenant. Here's how you change formations. Begin collecting Karusarum.
ability was neutralized. But you can use Karasaram to improve your... Now head for the exit, Lynx. Good job, Link. Now you know how to secure necessary resources. Time is running out. And... Yeah.